Yeah, a lot of prominent Sorry. pro-lifers are, are, are religious or, you know, that they're the reason why they stand for uh, protecting the life in the womb is because, partly because their religious convictions um, prompt them to say that all lives are valuable no matter what mm-hmm. age of stage and things like that. But there's a whole bunch of people who aren't religious who acknowledge that that truth as well. So there's a great, if people are looking up, there's a great um, uh, a group called Secular Pro-Lifers on, on Facebook right. and other places. And they're, they're, they're great. And they're, they're so frustrated by, uh, by people who have that perception that it's, it's just a religious question. There's no, uh, eth- you know, sort of ethical or humanitarian question or um, whereas I so think, they just see yeah human life as so what are, yeah what are the the basic points of that like yeah, about well, well the, why... the basic point would be that what the way that and you could look up their Facebook page to to maybe get see it, hear it from their mouth but um, that killing a human being is is wrong you know killing an innocent human being is wrong and uh, uh, and death. And so, um, and so it's actually very, and it's from a scientific perspective, there's no doubt that a child in the womb is a human being, a member of the human race. Um, Mm. uh, And if we say, why do we say that it's wrong for me to kill this person down, you know, like whether you're religious or not, you generally agree that it's not, you know, that it's not ethical to, to kill someone who's just in your way, um, who, you know, that, that they have rights and those rights are not based on uh, how clever they are or how attractive they are or how, whether they're able or disabled, whether they're, uh, you know, white or black, whether they're man or woman, their sexuality, their, you know, the reason why they are, um, they shouldn't be killed is because of their humanity which is the thing that unites all human beings. Um, and yeah. that's the one reason why, you know, you don't go, well, we can kill this subset category of human humanity. Um, mm-hmm. And, and so they just extend that as, and I would too, um, to the, the difference between a human being in the womb and out of the womb is, uh, is arbitrary in the sense, not arbitrary to the mother, obviously it's very significant to her, whether it's in the womb or out of the womb, but in terms of uh, to the human being itself, that difference is, is quite arbitrary. So you can, a child couldn't be, you know, my daughter was, she didn't want to get out of the womb. She was in there for an an extra, she was got out in the, uh, we had to induce after 41, 42 weeks. Um, Whereas, Children have been removed from the womb up at 24 weeks and survived. Um, yeah. And they can do surgery where they remove a, child, a fetus from the womb, do surgery on it, and then put it oh, back really? in the womb. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah. And so mm. you sort of go, well, what was the status of that, that child? Yeah. Was... You know, was did it become a human being and then lost its humanity again when it went back in the womb? Mm-hmm. You know that uh, that I think the continuation of what of uh, the the humanity of the fetus is, uh, to you know from from zygote fetus newborn toddler mm-hmm. it's just a stage of development and some of them are in the womb and some are out of the womb um, and so if we consider that it's unethical to kill uh, a child out of the womb, then you've got to argue why, what makes the child within the womb have, have uh, what makes it lose its human rights, what makes it lose yeah. its loss of humanity.